my beautiful souls. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the weekly reading, <laughs> the weekly intuitive card reading for the first full week of January, January 1st through January 7th. I'm actually recording this in the last week of December. And let me just tell you guys, if you didn't check out the weekly before this, the week before, please do. Things are accelerating quickly. No kidding. I, write down below, comment below if it's accelerating quickly for you. I'm feeling it already. And like I said, I'm recording this in the last week of December. So we're moving into um, a year of the eight. So it is a universal year eight. And that means um, abundance. It means prosperity. It means empowerment. It means financial success. Um, it can mean all those different things, but it's definitely not a slow year. So it makes sense that things are accelerating because we're going from a seven, which was this year was a seven universal year. So a lot of introspection as I've been reading, as you guys can follow me, there is like a lot of things that there's not too much action needed um, and action to be taken. So not a lot of action oriented stuff, but that was a reason, a reason because it's a seven year. So we're going into an eight. So there's a lot of doing. Eight is a really masculine number as well. So a lot of doing and getting stuff done. So if you feel over the years that you haven't been doing much, um, that you've been in a, in a healing journey, as I've been talking about, um, this is the year that things are gonna change for sure. So this is the first full week. I'm excited to see what is going on. I shuffled the cards, obviously. I, I mixed up the order, same spread though um and before i jump into it guys um please like this video please share it with anybody that maybe needs to hear these messages um please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already let's just put it this way if you see more than one of my videos please please just hit that subscribe button um you also get notified uh i think you get no yeah you get notified but hit the bell button as well um just to make sure uh when i post new videos because as I accelerate, I'm definitely feeling better. So it's definitely going along with the numerology there. Um, and so the more I feel better, the more I'm gonna post. So please, please uh, make sure your no notifications are on. Okay guys, um, I think that's it. Let me just jump right into it. First full week of January. Like I said, before this reading, before I you know, pull any cards, I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't see the cards beforehand. I'm reading as I pull. So uh, that might be obvious, but uh, I don't know what it's gonna say. But like I said, the energy that I'm feeling that I got from last week, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of doing, a lot of accelerating. So what do we need? Drum, dream and journey. Um, okay, so we need to, um, this is always about uh, planning ahead, uh, dreaming, uh, planning out the journey, mapping out the journey. So our need right now is to um, really figure out where we're going, right? Um, what direction we want to go. So this is really about being more intentional and we definitely need that. So makes sense to me, guys. This is, uh, you know, January 1st, it's a holiday. It's my favorite holiday. Um, it's really about planning out your goals, do a vision board, like that kind of thing. That's actually a perfect card for a vision board. Just really set your sights on, you know, where you're headed, where your goals are. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. All right, let's see, action needed. Okay, we have storyteller, we have it in the light, ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols. Okay, action needed, storyteller. So it's time to tell our story. Okay, I just mentioned earlier in this video, a lot of us have been through on a freaking journey the last few years. There's a lot of reasons why we go on these journeys, these healing quests, what, you know, uh, the hero's journey, sometimes it's called. It's because we have something to say from it. We have lessons that we, we have learned and um, we need to share that wisdom with the world. And that's what spirit is saying. So oh, that's giving me chills because it's true. It, it's, I know a lot of people are sometimes against, um, you know, the phrasing, everything happens for a reason. And I definitely do think that you use your emotional intelligence and obviously you don't tell somebody that in crisis, but, um, there is something to life. And this is just how the universe works. You know, I'm just repeating what is already knowledge, in my opinion, um, is that to seek meaning is to is is life, right? That is what life is about, is to seek meaning. So we need to um, really find that in the horrible things that have transpired in the last few years and and tell other people and 
make your story known and speak your truth. And, and we've been getting a few speak your truth cards like here and there sprinkled throughout these readings. So I would really listen to that. So storyteller is upright. The, the green is jumping out to me. Green is always linked to heart chakra. So it's really like speaking from the heart. Um, don't be afraid to tell your story. And that's really the action we should be, be taking. And because it's next to that dream and journey, it's kind of like, how are we going to implement our story? What has happened to us? How are we going to integrate um, what has happened to us into our lives going forward? Okay. That's such a beautiful message to start with. I love that. Okay. Issue. No place like home. Okay. First thing that jumps out to me, you guys know I read intuitively is it's almost like this feeling of frustration that I'm getting for a lot of us this week where we feel like we don't fit in anywhere. Okay. That's coming through really very, very strong. Makes sense. We're in this transition period. And finally, the transition is here. It's being presented to us. This energy is being presented to us. And now we're like, okay, where do I fit in? Where do I fit in with this story? I'm not the same person that I was. I'm a new person. Now, where do I fit in? Basically, that's what spirit is saying here. So it feels like you can't find anything that feels like home. Maybe you've gone through a breakup and you just, you feel, you know, maybe you've moved. Um, you just feel ungrounded and you just feel like misplaced in general in life. And so that's really going to be a big issue and something kind of coming up here. It does feel a little, um, I don't want to use the word dark. I feel like that's too strong of a word, but, and I don't want to use chaotic because it's not really chaotic energy, but it it is um, a little is melancholy the right word? Um, maybe not, but it, it feels a little sad. I would say like, I'm almost feeling grief where, you know, especially like when it hits people that um, maybe are, consider themselves black sheep, uh, like of their family, for example. And we are writing off the holidays, so that could be part of that too. It's just, we just feel like we don't belong or we don't fit in in some type of way. Let me pull the challenge since these are kind of similar type um, energies uh, or similar type things. Uh, challenge fertility. Okay, so we actually had this fertility card last week and I believe it was somewhere in the responsibilities or importance, but it was somewhere more... Uh, positive where we don't have issues um birthing something new but it's under challenge now okay so um we are going to have a challenge this week it feels like birthing something new creating something new so um not super related there with the issue and the challenge is they're kind of different but I, I feel like they're all um Speaking of storyteller, I feel like these tell a story. That's why I really, I mean, there's a lot of reasons why I love reading cards, but I feel like I look at it as like a story um, and like a story of the week, basically. And uh, so we're, we are going to have a challenge birthing something new. So this could actually also mean because well, let's go back to this first one here, the dream and journey. Spirit is asking us to really figure out the plan first before actually implementing anything. I know I said earlier, this is definitely action oriented year. Um, but again, we're still in the first year of, of, uh, I'm sorry, the first week of the year. Um, and yes, a lot of us are going to be running out of the gate, um, which is amazing. Cause if you guys noticed the last few years, it was kind of like still walking through the mud in January and, and things didn't really ex accelerate or pick up until like February and March. But anyway, I digress. Um, so bringing something into the world, like it's, it's going to be a challenge. So I really do feel like it's about clarity and intention about figuring that out. So it doesn't surprise me too much that we're having issues birthing it into the world because we need to figure out what that thing is first. Okay. So that's really what this is kind of about here. And then looking at, you know, and how do we put it in a story format kind of deal. Um, and then, like I said, the issue here is just feeling like we're not fitting in. So there's a little confusion here. Um, but again, I do feel like because of that first card, we're really figuring things out. Intentionality and clarity is super important this week. Okay, what's changing? Uh, magic Guardian unlocked the magic within. Love it. Power card, in my opinion. Power card it means that we're really connecting to our inner magic and our inner power. Um, and that's what's changing. So that's amazing. Empowerment, like I said, eight year. Amazing, amazing. Um, we're going to feel like we're in more control. We're going to feel more empowered. We're going to feel more like we have agency over our lives, our decisions, and more things in our life. So that's really amazing. That's the good thing. Um, so focus on that, guys. Don't focus so much on more like, oh, God, I don't have a plan. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure that out. That's fine. And so, and as far as 
the grief that comes up, I would say focus on the grief, you know, processing the grief, trying to figure out where you do belong. So again, it's really about clarity and intentionality. How many times can I say that? I'll probably put it in the uh, title of this video. <laughs> Messiah. Oh, okay. I can't read it. Serving humanity with humility. Amazing. Okay. So um, serve. Okay. So, uh, oh, this is upside down. My beautiful crystal. I love this one. Isn't it beautiful? Amethyst. Um, okay. So um, this is about serving. So this makes sense to me because people come to me and they say, oh, I really want to know my purpose. And by the way, we have multiple purposes. We have personal purpose. We have universal purpose. But um, the Messiah is really about doing things um, just from the, just to serve and from the goodness of your heart, whether it's a soup kitchen, an animal rescue, whatever it actually is, um, um, helping somebody, you know, uh, that needs, that, uh, needs help financially or whatever it actually is. And this would be a good year to do it, by the way. Um, obviously, you know, you guys are in charge of your finances, you know, what's good, best for you, but usually in the eight year, we, we usually have extra pocket change, um, and we have the abundance to do so. So, uh, but, I digress, but uh, this is, so people say I'm confused, I'm confused because again, we've got a little bit of the confusion energy kind of coming through, but um, you know, Spirit is saying, make sure we focus on intentionality, make sure we try to focus on clarity. If we're confused, if we feel like we lack purpose, if we're apathetic, go and serve somebody else, okay? I promise you that will lead you to more purposeful work. That will lead you more to a purposeful path. It doesn't matter what it is. Pick, let me just tell you guys, if anybody, most people, I think, uh, I know we have some Canadians um, uh, out there uh, watching, but um, hopefully people from all over the world are watching. But us Americans, in my personal opinion, and I think a lot of people would agree, there's really no system in the States that actually works well. Okay, so pick your cause, you have your pick, seriously, <laughs> and just go for it. Um, you'll find something, trust me, and it'll build humility. And like I said, I definitely believe it will bring you on the right path, uh, on the more aligned path for you and help you help bring more clarity into your life. Okay, what do we reflect on? To be fair, okay, this is about balance. This is about bringing justice to things, bringing balance to things. So um, bring a sense of fairness. So we really need to kind of reflect on where we're not balanced. Um, this is good to kind of like think of the past years and say, okay, what have I la uh, slapped on? Um, maybe I've been really taking care of my emotional health and now I need to take care of my physical health. Um, maybe it's the opposite. Um, you know, maybe I've been focusing on relationships the last couple of years and now it's really time to start to focus on my career. So different things like that to really balance it out. So definitely think about that. Lots of journaling around that. Uh, responsibilities. We have come out of the closet. Okay. This is really about being our authentic selves, um, be coming from a place of authenticity, um, speaking our truth like the storyteller wants us to do. So that's our responsibility this week. Um, all of those things, being authentic, speaking our truth, um, telling our story, okay? Pretty simple on that one. Money and finances, spring, see your seeds grow, finally. Guys, when was the last time I got a card like this? <laughs> I can tell you. <laughs> Because the spring, we've gotten, I think we've gotten like summer a couple of times. We've gotten autumn so many times, which is basically like rest, rest, rest. We know, you know, we are we were in a seven year last year and, and a lot of us have been going through the mud and just waiting, 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 you know. <laughs> I'm so salty. I'm so salty. But honestly, let me just say this because of the acceleration energy that I'm feeling. It's so, everything serves a purpose. Every season serves a purpose. Uh, every season of our life, the ones where we are being planted, the times where you have felt down. Whew, I'm getting kind of emotional because I felt down a lot and you feel like you can't move forward and every day is the same and every day is the same and you're just waiting patiently to heal, to get better, to move through this journey, to, to move into your new life. Okay, and so the spring card, it, damn, this spring card is really making me emotional because finally it's saying all those times you were planted, you're ready, you know, that uh, you felt like you were buried, you're, you were just being planted and now you're ready for the seeds to grow. 
And I love that it's in, like, I'm not shocked that it's under money, finances, and career. What did I say earlier, right? Um, so we're ready for a new beginning in that aspect at the very least. I'm not shocked. I'm not going to be surprised when we keep seeing spring-like cards, spring-like energy in the next few readings, okay? At the time of this uh, recording of this uh, video, I have not done the yearly. So uh, I'm going to do a big yearly spread. So I'm excited to see what comes of that. Um, but I will not, not be surprised if there are multiple cards that come up, you know, relaying uh, this type of energy because it's time, guys. Finally. Okay. That's all I have to say. Surprise. Upside down. Queen. Okay. Not great. Becomes arrogant when authority is challenged, controlling, and demanding. Okay. So I just mentioned up here, I like that it's underneath because I do feel like it's connected. We are moving more into an empowerment uh, place, which is wonderful. But the shadow of the eight, the shadow of, of, uh, of, um, how do I say this? Uh, okay, so I said we're, we're becoming more in control of our life, but that could go overboard, right? So we can over control right? We can try to micromanage everything. We could try to make sure every duck is in a row. Everything is perfect. Perfectionism, basically. And so that's not, the queen is, is really like ultimate feminine energy. And um, feminine energy is more so about receiving and, and allowing and surrendering and flow and all that stuff. So it has to be a good balance. Um, so just be careful because that queen is upside down. It's, I'm getting this feeling of like being over controlling, um, and really trying to take that because it's happening so quickly, that empowerment is happening so quickly. We're getting a little too, not cocky, but I guess I do kind of want to say like, we might get like over perfectionist, over controlling. I don't want to say like over committing, but more so, um, demanding the card uses the word demanding i guess that's that could be accurate that kind of feels aligned um i go back to this here humility just make sure that you're really kind of connected to that part of yourself um i would say humility really kind of comes from the higher self slash soul right um so yeah, just, just be careful. And I think it will surprise you. Um, maybe some of you guys are kind of falling into false, um, not false uh, old patterns. Um, so just be careful there where it has to do with like perfectionism, controlling, um, demanding type energy, and really um, not being connected to our feminine energy. And I'm talking feminine energy, not our femininity. Um, so this goes to um, all sexes and genders. So Okay, uh, let's move on there. So that's just a surprise. Just keep it in mind. That's all. Um, okay, friends, higher power. Okay, great. So, oh, the four is jumping out to me. Uh, four is always, uh, yes, it's angelic uh, vibration, but it's also foundation, okay? And then we have higher power. So, um, you know, this is the card. We've gotten this quite a few times. I just love when it just sneaks into the reading because it's just a nice reminder, you know, um, let go, let God. Okay, my one of my favorite cliche sayings. <laughs> let go, let God. Um, and there's really nothing that we can do. So I like that it's kind of coming off the controlling energy because it's really the, the exact opposite of the controlling energy. So we have to remember that where it's, now I'm seeing why balance is also coming up. Don't forget to reflect on balance, even in these areas, you know, how much, um, how much control does your life need versus how much surrender does it need, if that makes sense. Um, and uh, so I do feel like a lot of stuff is happening in our friend group where we just feel maybe powerless or um, we can't really control it as best we can and you kind of have to let go, let God surrender, accept the situation. So unfortunately, I do feel like maybe this is a little specific, but again, we're reading for the collective, so it's not gonna be everybody, but um, this could definitely mean like friends doing something that you um, feel sad about or don't think it's in their best interest or even losing friends that like maybe they're doing something and you have to separate from them. That's the energy that I'm feeling. 
it's like you have no control over their behavior and that's just, it is what it is. Um, the other cliche saying, right? It is what it is and, and we need to kind of practice that. So I'm very happy that there's, um, and I think we actually got this last week, is that we don't really have any, oh yeah, I think it was in the need where, you know, needing to save somebody. I don't know if it was rescuer or not. I think it was a similar archetype, but um, we can't enable people. We can't control them. We can't save them, okay? So we have to let them kind of do their own thing and kind of let them go. So there's a, a, a huge, huge energy kind of coming through. And the fact that the four is means foundation means that this is kind of setting you up for a long time, right? So this could also mean a double meaning where um, it's saying, yeah, you're going into your new life and your friend group, you can't expect everything to kind of stay the same. Like even your friend group is, is getting a shakeup, okay? Even the people you surround yourself with is getting a shakeup. So um, there's not much that we can do about it. Um, but let go, let God, and it's definitely divinely guided. I can confirm that for sure. Um, romantic connection, purification. Okay, so this is really about cleansing. Um, how do I say this when it comes to romantic connection? Um, I feel like a lot of you guys who are romantically connected with somebody really kind of wants to start over. So it's kind of like a little bit of like start over energy that's kind of coming through. Um, but really start over, okay? Um, not just say you're gonna start over, but, you know, and say like you forgive somebody and then they, you don't forgive them or, you know, you act the exact same way or, you know, the same behaviors, etc. Um, it's not like that. This is really about really deciding to um, do things over again, cleansing things and just starting anew. And uh, I see that as like a really positive thing. It doesn't surprise me because, again, we're about this new energy now. So um, love it as far as my single people go. Maybe you're approaching dating differently. Maybe you're approaching things um, with a different mindset. You're approaching things, you want different things um, and you've kind of figured that out over the last couple, few years because maybe it is a breakup or something that you're going through uh, r romantically. So um, purification is just, you know, I just think of like water. Is there water on here? Yeah. Um, yeah, l lovely water. Just like cleansing ourselves of water, getting clean, um, you know, washing away the old, you know, looking forward to the new. Okay, important. What is important? A lot of things are important, right? Uh, night, be brave and honest. Um, about in, This is about integrity. This is about being honest. This is about being transparent. It's important, makes sense because we have come out of the closet, which is also linked to the same, pretty similar energies. Um, going back up here, I know I keep going backwards, but, um, like I said, I feel like everything is connected and this whole board tells a story, this whole spread tells a story, but um, not being able to fit in could also be from these two things, this strong energy that's kind of coming out of saying that, you know, it, we have to live in our authenticity, we have to live in our truth. Um, we have to speak it as, as it is and how we feel it, you know, from a soul level. And that might make us feel like we're not sure where we belong. Because think about it, guys. Why do we pretend to be people that we're not? Why do we wear masks? It's because we want to be liked, we want to be accepted, we want to fit in, you know, all of those things. And it makes sense. That's like a very human thing that we want. Um, but it's, it, the more we go, you know, the more authentic we want to be, the more we want to be ourselves, it looks like the lonelier it's going to get. Like, so there is, like I said, I do feel like this grief that's kind of surrounded around that. So pay attention to things like that this week. Okay, health and wellness, please, please God. Okay, we have judge in the shadow, offering only destructive criticism, misusing business legal or criminal authority. Okay, this is about hardcore judging ourselves um, or judging others based on their wellness journey, their health journey, healing journey, um, where they, you know, where they started to where they've came, how they've done it. Um, uh, that kind of thing. So a lot of judgy energy, not great, <laughs> not great. And this could also be judging ourselves. Okay. By the way, guys, I, I try to say this a lot. I feel like I'm pretty non-judgmental, but I really am. Okay. <laughs> because, because all humans are, we all judge about something. Okay. We, and we judge ourselves. Okay. I would say we're our harshest critics. So, 
Um, this could also, again, be judging ourselves, being very critical, um, highly, highly critical of others, of, of, of yourself. So just watch that um, because you guys have gone a long way. So I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty bummed about that because we have, we should be celebrating how far that we've come. Um, but, but we're really judging ourselves instead, right? Or, or we're judging other people instead. So just watch your, our, our judgment this week. I will say that. Um, yeah, there's not too much to say on that. Okay. Overall outcome. What? Please bring spring card. Okay. Here and now. Okay. It's actually a be present card. Okay. So this is, if you guys notice, there's no real cards about like, like pretty blatant straightforward. This is your new life no victory cards. There's actually a few victory cards in here that are about, oh my God, you've done it. It's over. You know, there's no real, um, one energy, like new beginnings. And there's no real, we had like a lot of kind of like nine and endings maybe last week. Yeah. I would say they were like sprinkled without, but there's no real, like, it's not cut and dry is what I'm trying to say. So Basically, spirit is saying, okay, be here and be be here now. And so be present. So all you have is the present. So what I will say about this is that the overall energy is that you're still living day by day. So still, you know, even though, so closing up to this first card here, we have planning, dreaming, journey, you know, what do you want your journey to look like going forward? But again, the action needed is more so about like, how are you going to tell your story? Not actually putting things into action, because that challenge there is saying, hey, we're not actually birthing something yet. We're only really marinating on that. We're really only thinking about that. We're only really reflecting on that, introspecting on that so far, okay? So it's not like a, yes, it's definitely more accelerated energy for sure, okay? It almost just feels like we have more attention span and more energy to focus on other things. That's a good way to kind of put this energy that I'm feeling is that we actually have that energy to focus on things outside of our survival mode. Okay. So I do want to say that, but this is still saying you still have to take it day by day, like still take it easy a little bit, you know, like, um, don't overrun yourself. Don't, um, exhaust yourself. Like there's nothing here that is saying like accelerate without a break, um, or accelerate and don't care about, uh, anything else. Um, so it's really still a little bit of that introspective energy, but just taking it day by day. Um, setting things up is like another way to kind of put it like this is this spread is really kind of about like setting things up and just being mindful. Um, but again, I do love that spring energy where it's saying, hey, we're getting ready to go. Money, finances and career is really the first thing that we're really going to start seeing changes with, which I think is wonderful. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, I hope I explained and wrap it up nicely um, in a way that makes sense. Guys, happy new year. <laughs> happy new year. Um, okay, it looks like a pretty decent week. Um, not loving the issues up here. The, the fertility doesn't bother me. That This this feels a little sad. This feels a little sad. Um, sorry, I'm not coming up with you know more intricate words, but it's just a general sadness that I kind of feel coming from these two here, maybe leaving, you know, letting go of friends. Um, and then over here is just not feeling like we fit in. Um, and you know, judgy wudgy was a bear here. So <laughs> don't, don't be too judgmental. Really just catch yourself. That's really all that matters. I always say self-awareness is half the battle because once you figure out, you know, what's not working, then you can, you know, then the second half is, um, behavior change. So Okay, guys, I hope this was uh, helpful for you. And we've got a lot going on this week. And I'll see you guys next week. And like I said, Happy New Year.